So the question is, how do I monetize a phone number database with uh, 15 million entries? Um, it's also segmented by, I think it's like gender, location, and, and maybe network. I think when we say network, that's the network carrier like a Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, AT&T. Um, so I think that is a very, very interesting question. So uh, the one problem that I think you run into now is uh, we have this do not call registry, at least in the United States. And if your number is on there, uh, on that list, uh, you really can't call with unsolicited uh, uh, services, where I just can't call you to try to sell you a vacuum cleaner or whatever. You know, people try to call and, and sell over the phone nowadays. So um, I think, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of tough. Um, I think the one thing, if your data is very accurate, uh, you may be able to take uh, the information and sell it to like, uh, you know, uh, people that uh, try to uh, uh, reclaim like uh, credit uh, card, uh, like um, like when somebody's you know they don't pay their credit card bill and they sell it sell it to one of the credit agencies. Um, I think it's uh, that's one way where you could probably sell your information or, or segment out your information for uh, particular regions for uh, credit card. Uh, uh, reclamation companies but this is a real tough one um, I would say if this was the 80s uh, or the 90s um, it would probably be a little bit easier to monetize that um, I think the, the big problem that you run into is uh, um, other than like maybe like an election cycle I don't know how valuable uh, phone number data really is um, I think phone number data is, is useful, but if you actually had uh, phone activity um, or location data that's based off of a phone number, that would actually be a little bit more useful. Uh, there's applications in uh, advertising, things like uh, you know foot traffic attribution, where you know where a phone is um, at any given time, and you uh, you know can use the location to kind of you know tie those two. Uh, uh, I guess what we call like personally identifiable information or PII, you can tie those uh, two together. Um, but this is a tough one. I really can't see too many applications of how you monetize that data. Um, but gave you a few. Uh, one being, uh, you know, think about a political play. Also think about uh, people that are trying to reclaim, uh, you know, credit claims. Um, those are kind of, you know, uh, two, you know, areas that uh, you may want to invest in or take a look at but uh you know thank you for watching um i wish i was able to provide a little bit more insight into this one uh but uh you know if you have any additional ideas please you know write them in the comments um if you have any questions or you want to talk about this topic more you know drop me a line you know um you can just leave a comment right in, in the description and i i will answer <laughs> so Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please, but don't feel obligated to. I would just like more subscribers. I think everybody would like more subscribers. <laughs> so again, thank you for watching and bye.